Hello and welcome to a demonstration of how to print out an attendance sheet. Now an attendance sheet is, is a paper list of all of the students in your class and their contact information, meaning phone numbers and email addresses. And it's a place where you can record their attendance while you're in the class. Because usually when you're up at the front of the class you don't have a computer in front of you and you're going to want to make attendance notes throughout the day as students come and go. and so you can do it on the paper copy, and you're going to give a paper copy to the campus manager at least once a week, and I would suggest you keep a copy of the paper copy as well. Okay, and that may seem cumbersome. There's a little bit more explanation of why we're doing it that way in your instructor manual. Okay, so you click on Program Admin, Attendance Sheets right there, and you come to this screen. The first thing you have to do is tell SAS what time period you want this attendance sheet to be for. So, for our example, let's say you wanted this to be from January 1st to the 5th. Just for an example. So January 1st, 2012 to January 5th, 2012. And if you ever forget what the date format is, it's right here. EG 12-31-2006. Month, day, year. Okay? And then down below you pick the programs that you're teaching should be down here on this list. And you click on the one that you want your weekly attendance sheet for. And then you click continue. And voila, you have a list of all of the students in your program for that week. Their phone numbers would be right here, and their email addresses would be over here. This is a test database, so not all the data is in there. And you have one column for each day that you're taking the attendance. Notice up here it tells you your program code, Office Assisting Nanaimo, the instructor's name, that would be you, the start and the end date of the program, and then this is the period for the attendance, so the 1st to the 5th of January and one column for each day. Now, if it was an all-day class, you might want one column for the morning and one column for the afternoon. No problem. Now, you'll notice I'm going to use this back button to navigate backwards. Most of the time, that works just fine in SAS, and it's a really nice shortcut. Okay, so let's say I wanted two columns for the day. I'm going to click on AM, PM. I'm going to keep my start and end date and my program the same. I'm going to click Continue, and suddenly I have one column for each one for the morning, one for the afternoon. Now, you'll notice you've got some other options here. You've got an afternoon and an evening option, and you've got a morning, afternoon, evening option. Choose which one makes sense to you, given how long your class is for. Anyway, so there you go. That is your attendance sheet. Now, you can do a few things. You, you want to print this off and have a paper copy. You can do the common shortcut of Control-P. That will print you a copy. You can, if you want it perfectly lined up. You can click on this little printer icon here, print preview. If you go up here and do only the selected frame, it is a little better centered on the page and it always prints nicely. Usually you don't need to do that step, but if you're having a hard time with it not lining up nicely, that's the way to do it. And then click on your print icon and you will be good to go. Now, printing this sheet off doesn't change anything anywhere in SAS. All it does is pull information out of SAS and print it for you. Okay, so it doesn't create anything in SAS. Now, the other thing is, when you have your attendance sheet and you've done your writing on it for the week, typically you need to give a copy of it to the campus manager each week and keep a copy in your instructor file. Okay, hopefully you check with your campus manager about that. And, as always, if you have any questions about working in SAS, contact me, registrar at jobready.ca. Thank you.